What's up, everybody? How is everybody doing? Everybody doing all right today? What's happening? Yo, this is ALG in the building at Gully's Barbershop. Fixing my camera, making sure everything is okay. Hey, right here in the boom room, baby. Gully's Barbershop. I am Adrian Gully. Thank y'all so much for listening and subscribing. I appreciate everybody out there, man. Thank y'all so much. I'm Adrian Gully. Uh, Mr. Crappie Man, a.k.a. Mr. Puma Man. Got my Puma on today, baby. I told you I do not play. I wear Puma every day because I am what? The Puma Man. Yo, got a lot of stuff to, to, to knock on today, man. I'm telling y'all. I watched the game last night. I watched LeBron and the Lakers. I watched them last night. They played the L.A. Clippers, man. Let me tell y'all something. It's over for the Lakers, y'all. All you Laker fans, man, give it up. Don't want to hear it no more. Don't want to hear nothing to say. Shut it up. Shut it up. No more winnings. No more. No more winnings. The Lakers lost last night to the Clippers, man. And I will say this, man. I looked at the Lakers. Um, it's, just, it's sad. It's really sad. People will always want to give credit to LeBron when he, when, when he does good. I don't think he's a great in my eyes. I think he's a very good basketball player, but he's not a great to me. And they don't they don't criticize him when at this time. And I'm not you know what? Let's take the word criticize. That's, that was the wrong thing to say. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't mean to say criticize. Let's say he's not doing his job. He's not doing his job the the way he should do his job. He is not taking over the game in the fourth quarter like he should. If you're the baddest man in, 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 in the basketball and you're the baddest man on the land, you should be taking over the fourth quarter and winning these games. Nobody can stop you. That's what they say. Uh, just take over, man. You know what to do. Hey, you are the man with the master plan, so you got to do it. Um, when I watched the game last night, um, he just didn't look – he, does, he doesn't look like a East, uh, uh, West Coast player. I'm sorry. He's a guy that plays on the, on, the West, on the East Coast. He's not a West Coast player. I'm sorry. Secondly, uh, when I watched the game, I seen something in the game that really kind of um, uh, did some things to me uh, for us just watching how he, he was maneuvering the game. Seemed, sometimes to me it seemed like he doesn't play hard. Sometimes he doesn't put, push forth the effort. And if that's the case, then... That's just how it is. I didn't see what he really did last night that was so outstanding that people say, oh, he's the best player in the league. No, he's not. But um, let me take this call, ladies and gentlemen. Take this call. What's up, my brother? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry for the interruption. But, ladies and gentlemen, he didn't do well last night. I saw the game last night. It was not that great. Um, he needs to step his game up. I think he needs to maybe sit down for the rest of the season. I don't want LeBron James to get hurt. So we got to stop that, ladies and gentlemen. We got to make sure that we do not we do not see LeBron James get hurt this year at the, at the end of the season. Um, on another note, they lost three straight. Three straight games. Uh, they played the Nuggets on tomorrow. Yeah, they play the Nuggets on tomorrow, which I think is another loss. I think it'll be a four straight loss, and it's going to be very hard for the Lakers to come back. It's it's, it's really looking bad for the Lakers. Uh, they have some injury playing. Ingram didn't play last last night, and I just think that you know maybe they just should change some things up and wait till next year and get this uh, Laker organization together. But I just don't think LeBron is ready for the for the West. I think he needs to go back east. And it's not going to be in his favor. I don't see the Lakers make, making any really big moves. I don't see any um, players they're going to get to come there to really pick up the pace for LeBron James to win at the Lakers. I think he needs to, and you know how he is. Now, LeBron James will leave. He will leave. He will leave. So I think LeBron James, uh, you know, he might not be there long. I'm telling you that right now. So, the Lakers fans, all you Lakers fans, man, it's just, hey, there's no comparison to LeBron and Kobe and Michael Jordan. Stop it. Don't worry about it. Don't even talk about it anymore. Let this guy play out his rest of his season. 
He's going to come back and play another season. After that, LeBron James will not be a Laker fan after next season. Best believe that he will be gone. He will demand for a trade. He will no longer be a Laker. He will go back, uh, probably back to Cleveland. Or I say, would he go back to Miami? I don't know. I don't know if he'd go back to Miami. He might go back to Miami. If he doesn't, look for him in, uh, in New York. Uh, the Knicks. So um, I'm just letting y'all know, man. He's finna finna go back to the East and be, go over there and finish out his career. But the West is not right for him. He is 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 not there. And and the last thing I have to say, when you have a six one guy demand to guard you all night long, and you do not take him down low and punish him for the size that he is, do not make him say, you know what, let's switch. If you don't do that. You're not considered a great. I saw it last night when Wesley asked to hold him. And Doc Rivers said, go ahead, get him. That is what you call a real challenge. When you take on a real challenge, man, there are so many things that you can do. And that real challenge came with that man taking over and holding LeBron and stopping him. Even though LeBron had 27 points or whatever, he did his great job. But let me tell you something. Wesley... I, I I wish you were on my team. If I had a team, you'd be the first person I'd pick up. So I'm just letting everybody know. All you Laker fans, man, it's over. Sorry. Mr. Puma Man said it. Mr. Crappie Man said it. A.K.A., you know, it's me. All day, all night. Your boy, Adrian Gully, right here in the boom room. Gully's Barbershop. Keep liking my page. Keep subscribing, man. Hey, this is just off the rip. I didn't even turn off my phone. Peace.